So let's quickly learn how we can change these bullet icons to anything that you want, whether it's an icon or an image. So let me first show you what I've done here. I've basically, let me just duplicate it and show you. So basically I type like this is point one and I clicked on bulleted list. And then whenever you press enter, you can add another stuff like this. And basically if you go into text, we have an unordered list HTML tag and a close tag and then list tag inside this one, which is automatically created when you use bulleted list. Now the next thing we did is go into advanced and give it a CSS class of bullet so that we know that we have to target this one only. So the next thing is I'm going to give you this CSS and only the first one you need to check now because the second one is for an image and the top one is for for a font awesome 5 which comes with elementor and basically let's copy this one and then i'm going to go into custom css now don't worry if you don't have custom css you could basically go into appearance customize which opens this panel and then click on additional css and then you can paste it here also and it would still work so let me first try with custom css thing and i would suggest getting elementor pro for custom css because everything is like in one location rather than going around there and here and also another thing is you could use royal add-ons for elementor which adds another panel for free version so it will add another custom css panel here called royal add-ons one and you could also use that but i would still suggest getting elementor pro so that you have one less plugin to worry about and if you use my link in the description you can help me or indirectly help me by using my link in the description to buy Elementor Pro or any other thing that I have given in the description. So basically I have done is I have copied this one and here you could see we have copied, uh, we have given the CSS class called bullet and this one has the CSS class of bullet. And let me show what we are doing in this CSS. So in the first CSS we are saying that whenever there is an unordered list in this CSS class, just make the style type to none and padding zero so we are removing the padding and we are removing this dot icons and the second thing is we are adding a pseudo class called before and then before this every list elements which is uh, unordered list list and before every unordered list we are adding a content which is this icon so which is a heart icon around here and this is the padding that we have given and this is the color we have given you could also change the color around here you can also give it uh, what you call uh, any hash value instead instead of writing any text like hash 545 something like random stuff for the color and you could say it simply works nothing any issue and you could basically copy this in your additional css and it would do the same stuff no worries about it and it would be better to do it in this section if you have multiple or uh, multiple pages with the same design like this one thing i forgot to show is how you can change the font awesome icon so basically go into font awesome version 5 because we are using font awesome 5 and simply select whichever you want let's say i search for circle i'll copy this one and then you could see the unicode let's copy it and then paste it with a forward slash and here you could see the icon changes to the circle thing and one more thing that you need to realize that not all of these are showing some icons just don't show for some reason and maybe and maybe you could fix it with uh, installing for example you could see this is just not showing so some icons just don't show and you could fix it by installing a font or some file plugin and this is all based on Elementor's font awesome and there's no way I, I haven't found any way to find the perfect uh, Unicode for Elementor font awesome files uh, Unicode around here. So just try which one works and then try to search from here and then add the Unicode. Some work, some don't. So just try anything. So the next thing we will see is this one and we are doing the same thing, hiding the uh, what you call this bullet icons giving a content but it is empty this time and we are giving background image and then we are going to change this image url to by simply go into your media library let me just copy this one and try it 
and i'm going to paste it around here and we are basically giving this thing or we are basically saying that this image should be used before that one for bullet points uh no repeat so the background image shouldn't be repeated and then there's the width and height and background size that you need to manually change to match your design so this is where i'm going to go and paste it and here you could see one more thing that i have set the css class to bu bullet 2 if i change it to bullet you could say it changes to this css class so make sure you are typing the right css class and here it is changed with this icon of this cursor that i'm using and it works perfectly fine and let's say i'll just remove this thing and we are going to copy this and paste it in the additional css so let's refresh this see nothing is changed paste it here publish it here reload it and suddenly everything's working perfectly fine it's set to blue if i change the margin to 50 then it would change it to 50 around here and here that's how you could simply just change the bullet icon pretty easily